Hi everybody, welcome to Como Zoo Live, brought to you by the Legacy Amendment. My name is Em, I'm a zookeeper here at Como, and today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about our black-handed spider monkeys. So spider monkeys are a new world monkey. They are found in Central and South America in the rainforests. And the way that you can really tell that these guys are very adapted to the rainforest and living up in the trees, which we call arboreal, is that they have very long tails and very long fingers that wrap around the tree branches. So they're specifically designed to get around up there. They also do a locomotive behavior that we call brachiating, which means that they don't necessarily just walk on the tree branches. They also swing from the tree branches, as I'm sure you've seen um, in a lot of places, you'll see them swinging around. So these guys have very long arms, which makes it even easier for them to swing. And they have a very cool adaptation, which is that their tail is what we call prehensile. So their tail actually is really strong and it can hold on to things like another limb. Not all monkeys can do that. A lot of other monkeys do not have prehensile tails. Their tails are just for balance. And if you tried to hang them from their tails, other monkeys would probably fall. But these guys can hold themselves. They have very strong tails. You also might see at the tip of their tail on the inside of their tail, they don't have any hair. So that provides extra grip. And a uh, fun fact about that hairless area is that they all have unique fingerprints on the tip of their tail. So you can tell which spider monkey is who if you were to get um, tail prints from them, which is pretty fun. So here at Como, we have four spider monkeys. Spider monkeys typically do live in troops or groups, and they can range in size from small to very large. There have been groups that have been 30 individuals or more, which is quite big. Um, so these guys live together. And just like in the wild, they would break off into small groups throughout the day to go and forage and find food, and then come back together to sleep and huddle up and keep each other safe. Our four spider monkeys, we have three females and one male. So we have Katie, Ellie, and Jazz. Jazz is the one closest to us. And we have one male named Gomez. And they all hang out together and they are all around their mid-20s in age, um, which is about average for spider monkeys. They can live longer, they can live, some have lived into their 40s, and they can also live shorter as many animals have a wide range just like them. So these guys, they'll eat fruits um, and leaves, sometimes barks, um, and whatever else is available up at the top of the canopy where they hang out. Um, they don't come down to the ground if at all, because they, like I said, are not very well adapted to walking on the ground. Um, they do walk on the ground here, but that's because they do not have predators here. So in the wild, they have lots of predators down on the ground. Um, there would be big cats and um, other aggressive animals that they would not want to encounter. So their food source is mostly up in the trees, and we also feed them a lot of fruits. We'll give them vegetables, we'll give them leaves. Um, there are some safe branches that we can cut around the parks area, and we can give them um, fresh branches that they peel the leaves off, and that's very enriching for them. Enrichment is something that we do for our monkeys every single day. Uh, and it is anything that mentally or physically stimulates our animals. It brings out their natural behaviors and keeps them occupied. So today they were given um, rubber tires with food hidden inside them. Um, and so that encourages them to explore, encourages them to use their fingers with dexterity to try and get the food out. Um, and so this is something very important that we make sure they always have and they, they always get a variety. So some days they might get physical puzzle like today other days they might get sound enrichment, so we'll play jungle sounds or music. Some days we'll do scent enrichment, so we'll put scent in their exhibit that's safe for them, like a essential, uh, no not essential, <laughs> we'll do um, essences and we'll do cinnamon and we'll do other spices that have very fragrant um, attributes to them to kind of get them to explore their space and smell new things as well. Um, and so this is um, something we do every day, like I said, and these guys are very good at it. Um, they get through it very quickly. They're very smart. 
Um, they also have a very good communication system. They use this in the wild as well. So they will speak to one another using barks and howls and small coos, and they can tell a lot of information from that. And so when they split off during the day into their little groups, they can let each other know if they find lots of food, lots of fruit, or if there's danger. And they do the same thing here, and so they're very efficient at moving through their space and getting all of the goodies very quickly. Um, and these guys have lived together almost their entire lives, so they also have a very good bond and they know what each other is saying pretty quickly. Um, so these guys, uh, a lot of the spider monkey species, there's about four species, a lot of them are endangered or critically endangered due to habitat loss. Um, so like I said, they live up in the trees and they swing from the branches and they do not come down. So if a bunch of trees are cut down and it makes it so that they cannot get to the other trees on the other side, then they're kind of stuck. And so what's happened is a lot of roads and logging has created basically tree or forest islands where the monkeys cannot get to the other trees and so they're isolated. Um, and this not only is kind of difficult for when they need to breed and they need to meet new monkeys, but it's also difficult for finding fresh food all the time. So something that's really important is what um, biologists will call corridors. And so they'll plant a nice little corridor of trees across the road or across the logging space to try and help the monkeys traverse the area. So with more of these, that would be super helpful to help these guys um, have more space in their natural environment. Um, so these guys are our ambassadors for that, teaching us about spider monkeys and how spider monkeys move and live and communicate. Thank you so much for joining me today, learning about spider monkeys. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them below and we'll see you guys next time.